Hello, this is Dean Phoenix with the Final Fantasy X video. Uh, this video is just my quick tips on how I would recommend you play it to be able to beat the Luka Goers in the first compulsory storyline match. Now, this match is, like I say, compulsory, but it's quite heavily stacked against you because unless you know how to play Blitzball, which you obviously don't if it's the first time you're playing the game, then it can be very difficult to win because they just have better players than you and you have to do some very specific things and play very carefully in order to be able to beat them. Now, first things first, what you need to have done is, on the boat from Kilika over to Lu Luca, you have to do this minigame. Uh, it explains that you press the directions and the A button on Xbox One or cross on PS3 or PS4. And you have to hit enough of those messages in order to get the jack shot for Tadus, which makes it a lot easier to win this game because it's virtually a guaranteed goal in the second half, which is very useful when the odds are stacked against you. So make sure you completed that minigame, uh, first of all. Uh, you're also probably better off saving it in the locker room when you get to this little Please, bit here. Um, when the last thing that you've got to do before the match is speak to Waka to actually start the match, uh, make sure that you've saved in the safe sphere in the locker room just so that if you do have to repeat it, then you will have as little as of the cutscenes as possible to watch. Make sure you've just got that saved there. Now, one of the things you just have to appreciate when you're playing this game is that uh, Grav in particular, the midfielder for the goers, is much better than your players. And that although you do have a chance to win the tackles with your defenders against their strikers, uh, it is always slightly in their favour beca um, because, especially with Bixen versus Bota, uh, Jassy versus Abbas, you have like a, a decent chance of winning. But So if you get unlucky like that, you sometimes still lose. And both of their forwards have much, much higher shot than Keeper. Your goalkeeper has catch. Keeper is absolutely useless. So sometimes, no matter what you do, if they win the blitz off, you will just uh, get scored on. So you may need to restart a couple of times just because of that, or just bear that in mind. It's perfectly possible to score two goals, though. Now, you're usually dependent on them making some silly decisions, uh, like here, Grav could have easily just shot past two of the players or whatever, but uh, managed to get away with that encounter, sometimes they do make silly decisions, and one of the things you want to do straight away is put, uh, whenever you play the game, is to put it on manual so that you can control your own players, because a big part of it is positioning, but also it lets you use this trick, so if you want to play the ultra safe way, if you get the ball back in the first half uh, at nil-nil, you can just hide behind your own goalkeeper. Uh, Jassu will always be able to break past Arbus. So you can just hide behind your own goalkeeper and then the uh, AI goes a bit funny and all of the opposing players just leave you alone and you can do that for the whole of the first half. All you need to do is make sure that Tidus completes a pass or takes a shot because he needs to do one action to level him up to level 3 at half time. So this is an example of how the first half hopefully goes. Um, you would get the ball with Letty and Letty will always be able to break uh, through Arbus or Bixen's tackles. And uh, he has quite a good pass stat as well. But the first thing, the main thing you want to do is have Tidus complete a pass. Now Tidus has good endurance so he can break through most of the tackles most of the time. But he has a terrible pass stat. If you pass it over too far a distance, the, the pass will go to zero and it'll just bounce off your player's hand. So you want to make him complete a nice short pass to Letty uh, like that. And then you, the aim, aim of the game is just to keep the ball for the rest of the half. So you can either go and hide behind your keeper, like I just showed in the previous clip, uh, or if you feel like it, you can try and get the ball to Bota and Dato in the uh, top right corner. So your right defender and your right striker or forward and you want to just uh, pass the ball between them get them as close to each other as possible and just repeatedly pass the ball between them and the reason that you want to do that is because completing passes uh, gives experience and if you can get 12 exp 12 experience with uh, both Bota or and Dato they will level up to level 3 and then they will be able to equip techniques for the second half. We'll come on to that in a minute. With Datto, you always, always want to break through Bixen because he has a, uh, Datto has a terrible pass stat, but he has enough endurance to always break through. But when you've got Bota versus Bixen like this, then Bota, you always want to pass and just do as short a pass as possible uh, and just pass between them. If Grav gets too close, you can see the Grav, the midfielder, has got pretty close there. Pass to Letty instead and switch the ball so pass it to the other side of the field you need to keep the ball away from grav at all times so if you're trying this if you're not just hiding behind the keeper after you've done a pass with Tidus, then you need to keep the ball away from grav at all times you'll always be able to get the ball past their strikers 
but Grav will often take the ball off you or he will uh, block a pass. So you have to be careful at all times. So you just try and keep the ball between uh, Butter and Datto as much as possible. And like I say, with uh, Butter, you just pass it straight away. Don't do break, just pass it past Bixen. And with Datto, you always break to Bixen. So he always breaks that tackle and then passes to Bota afterwards. Now again, you can see Grav's little uh, triangle in the middle there is getting a little bit close again. So what you can do is, um, one of the key things in Blitzball is you can draw the uh, defenders out of position. So you can get them to chase you, but then press X on Xbox One or Square on PlayStation 3 or 4 uh, to be able to take an action before they're close enough to tackle. So here, I swim away uh, with Letty and Arvis is close enough to tackle, but Grav, I've done the action before Grav is close enough to tackle. And that lets me drag Grav out of position so he's no longer a threat and I can get the ball back to Bota and Dato and just keep passing between them. So basically, spend the entire first half just passing um, between yourselves and just passing between Bota and Dato or Jasu, Letty, whoever you want, uh, but preferably Bota and Dato so that they can level up. Now, ideally, you want to spend that whole first half passing, get, make sure that Tidus has completed one, and then just carry on passing. And you'll see in just a moment, we've got to half time and it's nil-nil so it's still even they've not had a chance to score none of their players have taken any action so they've not leveled up but i've got lots of experience from completing all of those passes and uh, so i can uh, very easily get dato and bota and tidus are all level three they will all be able to equip a technique for the second half and also dato as uh, endurance and shot has gone up a little bit and tidus's stats have gone up a little bit as well so that's extremely useful and the second half, uh, before that starts, you want to make sure that we equip a technique. So if you learnt Jack Shot from that mini game, as we discussed before, give Jack Shot to Tidus. Uh, if Dato has got level 3, you can give Nap Shot to Dato, which he knows already. And if Bota reaches level 3, then you can give him Venom Tackle. And uh, that will increase his attack when he is tackling, give him a better chance of winning the ball, which is extremely useful. So uh, that's why we tried to get Dato and Bota to level 3 because it gives Dato a better chance of scoring uh, and it'll also uh, give Bota a, be Bota a better chance of winning his encounters if Bixen tries to break through his tackles. But the key thing is that we get Jet, jet Shot equipped on Tidus. Now the second half is a bit different. You only have 3 minutes until Waka checks in and Waka checks in at 3 minutes guaranteed in the middle of whatever else you were doing. So if you're going to try and score with Jack Shot, which we are, then you need to do it and leave yourself plenty of time uh, to be able to score. And it can take a uh, little over a minute to be able to use Jack Shot properly and you'll see why in just a minute. So here, we've got the ball at the blitz off. I'm going to pass to Jasu and I'm going to try and drag people out of position again. So this is again the key thing. So you can see, I just want to draw the defenders in a little bit. So I've already got the forward chasing me, but I'm just going to draw the defender. And as the defender starts to come towards me, I swim away and then I take an action before the defender is close enough to take the ball away from me. So the defender's out of position. I can get the ball to Tidus. And you only get one crack at the jack shot because it takes 120 HP to use jack shot. And Tidus only has about 170. So you only get one shot at it. So you, if you're choosing the jack shot, you get as close as possible and choose no break. And even with no break, it will take out two defenders. So you see there, that was with no break. You don't try and break through the tackles and the jack shot will take out those two. And it also adds five to your shooting stat, so you can score pretty easily. So the jack shot, if you use it correctly, uh, will get rid of two players and then be virtually a guaranteed score. So you really want to use the jack shot and make sure you give yourself plenty of time to do it before the three minute mark in the second half, because that is when Waka will automatically check in. So even if you're in the middle of doing the jack shot, when it reaches three minutes in the second half, this cutscene will start and you won't get the opportunity to take that shot. So make sure that you leave yourself plenty of time to have a go at the jack shot and hopefully score a goal. So at the three minute mark, Tidus comes out and he gets subbed in for Waka. Now Waka doesn't have jack shot, but he is pretty good himself. He has Venom Shot, which will increase his shooting a little bit. And he also uh, is level 3, so he has decent endurance. And he's normally able to get past his defender on that side, Balgerda, uh, and have a crack at goal. So uh, it's quite you can have a go at scoring with Waka as well. So we had another Blitz off there, and the goers win it. And if you're lucky enough to get the ball back, 
then again you can try and drag people out of position now because we got um, Dato leveled up to level 3 this is how you would use him so Letty is able to get the ball to Dato here and it's a one-on-one -on -one situation and if you swim along the edge of the sphere you can normally keep it so that only one defender comes towards you and because Dato has leveled up a little bit and he has nap shot he has enough endurance to be able to uh, break past his defender the vast majority of the time and with nap shot that increases his shot by three so he also has a very good chance of scoring if you're close to the goal so that's how you would score with Dato uh, if you get the opportunity with him now you don't get many opportunities but you may either get a chance for Dato or Waka to score and this is how Waka would do it so again he's got just enough endurance that he will normally get past Balgerda and then you use Venom shot it makes his shot shooting a lot higher uh, and he will often have the opportunity to score so I scored that one right on five minutes just to make it 3-0 and really stick it to them so just bear in mind that they do have better players than you it can be frustrating but if you follow those principles, make sure Tidus completes a pass in the first half and then equips Jack Shot, and then just try and either hide behind the keeper or pass it around in the first half, get as much experience as possible and just try and uh, squeak it out and then if you have the lead you can always hide behind your keeper again and get that strength sphere. Uh, so just bear in mind that uh, if you need a couple of cracks at it you will eventually do it. Here's another one where I win 2-1. Uh, so it is very very possible to win but sometimes you just have to keep trying because Grav and the, their players are so much better than yours. If you follow those tips hopefully you'll be able to win and get that strength sphere. So if that was useful please leave a like and if you want to see more of my overpowered Final Fantasy walkthrough that this will be a part of uh, please do like and sub and uh, there will also be a playlist of it. I'm happy to have any comments and thank you very much for watching.